It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie Phantom and it's the Phantom Beer Artisan Ale Sleep. It's 8% ABV. There's a look at the green bottle. Love the artwork on the label. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. We've got a gold cap and a cork. So, using a different bottle opener today. Get the cap off and then make a start on opening this lovely beer. So, I picked this beer up in Brewdog in Cardiff. I am a massive fan of Belgian beers, and as here we go. There's a bit of smoke on the opening. As Wales are playing Belgium this Friday in the European Championship semi-finals. First time we've made a, a, a major finals in 58 years. Last time we, we made a finals we got to the quarter-finals. This time we've done the same thing. We're playing Belgium so I thought why not crack out a Belgium beer to celebrate Wales's progress in Euro 2016. So here's a look at the beer. Lots. Can you see the bottom of the bottle here? Lots of sediment here. Lots of yeast. Beer in the glass. Almost looks like champagne. Lovely carbonation rising up the the glass. It's a it's a kind of a yellow, hazy, pale coloured ale. It's a one to two finger white head. Lots of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Oh, <clears throat> it smells wonderful. A really nice kind of lemon sharpness, maybe a bit of sourness in there. It smells dry and spicy. <clears throat> Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh wow. It gives a slight feeling of champagne. <clears throat> it's very light. It's very almost fluffy like if that makes sense the carbonation fizzes and pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth like a good champagne does and flavor wise yes it has a slight sourness but it's malty and grainy and biscuity at the same time <clears throat> It's slightly vinous. What I like about the sourness in the beer is it, it's subtle. It's 8% ABV, so it's a beer to share probably. Although I have nobody here to share the beer with, so I'm going to enjoy this bottle all on my Todd. Um, but it, yeah, it, it, it's it's got a slight sourness to it. It's not kind of totally kind of lambic sour. Good body, good drinkability, spiciness on the back end comes through, lovely traditional Belgium hops coming through, a little bit spicy in the hop there, a little bit of, almost a little bit of tartness in there. But it's incredibly drinkable, incredibly drinkable, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful beer. <clears throat> Ingredients, water, malt, hops, yeast, sugar, spices. 
So, and they recommend you drink it by 2018. But I mean, if you laid this bottle down or, or put it in your in your cellar, you could probably put this away for about 10 years. It's 2016 now. I would fully expect this beer to be absolutely fine if you cellared it for 10 years, picked it back out in 2026. <laughs> Pardon me. Another thing I like about this beer, you don't, you don't get any, even a slight kick of alcohol from that 8% ABV. It's incredibly drinkable. So I'm going to give it a rating. There's not much on the label I can read to you guys. I'll show you the label again one more time. Brasserie Phantom. The beer has given great lacing on the glass. <clears throat> it's been presented well in the bottle. It looks lovely in the glass, the beer, it looks great. The actual beer, not the, the head. It's nicely carbonated. It smells good. It tastes even better. So, for that reason, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Please subscribe and cheers.